Okay, so get ready to put your math skills to work to solve this interesting little math word problem. Matter of fact, let me go ahead and read the problem. It is the following. Les needs to shave off three hundredths of a four inch steel bar. How many inches will he shave off? Okay, so that is the question and try not to use a calculator to solve this problem. If you have uh, pretty strong basic math skills, which of course I hope you have, uh, calculating the answer here is quite easy. But if you feel like you need a calculator, go ahead and use one. But if you have the answer, well, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the right answer in just one second. Then of course I'm gonna walk through exactly how easy it is to solve this problem without a calculator. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need assistance in learning mathematics, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's go ahead and read the question one more time. So Les needs to shave off three hundredths of a four inch steel bar. How many inches will he shave off? Let's go ahead and take a look at the answer. The correct answer is the following, 3 25ths of an inch. All right, now, if you were able to do this without the aid of a calculator, that is fantastic. Matter of fact, in my book, you're going to get a nice little happy face, an A+, plus, a 100%, and multiple stars. So you can tell your friends and family that indeed you are a certified professional expert in the area of working with place value because I suspect that uh, the people who struggle with this problem had uh, you know, uh, difficulty in interpreting this part of the problem, and that is three hundredths. What number is three hundredths? Well, this goes to this concept of place value. So again, I suspect that if you were confused, this is probably the area of confusion, but this is not that uh, confusing. And if you didn't get this right, I'll have you looking like this in a couple of minutes. So let's go ahead and get into the solution right now. Okay, so first things first, we are dealing with a math word problem. Always use the rule of three when you are solving any math word problem. And the rule of three is read the problem at least three times before you start doing anything. Now, I know it's tempting to be like, oh, I understand a problem. Let me go ahead and start doing stuff. You know, you got to give your uh, brain a little bit of time to kind of kick in. It's like, all right, let me think about this. Because the more time you think about it and make sure you fully understand the question and the information in the problem, then, you know, you're going to be able to take a better course of action. Uh, I've seen this from time, you know, over the years, uh, multiple times where students rush a prom and they'll say, oh, I know what to do. They'll start going down this road and be like, oh, that was the wrong road to take. And then they got to go all the way back to the prom, read it again and be like, wait, let me think about this. And they go, oh, I got to go down this road, actually. And they would have you know, not wasted all this time. Uh, and of course, you know, confusion if they just stopped and, you know, really thought about it. So always use the rule of three. But in this particular problem, uh, we need to understand, uh, you know, well, obviously let's just review the situation. So Les wants to shave off this uh, much off this four inch steel bar. Okay, how many inches will he shave off? Well, we can't solve this problem unless we understand what three hundredths is as a number because three hundredths here is a word. So what value, what numeric value is 300? Well, this goes to this concept of place value. And uh, if you forgot place value, don't uh, worry about it because most of us have been away from this material you know, for many, many years because this is stuff that you learn like in primary school or elementary school. But let's go ahead and just review quickly uh, what 300 is. So this word 300 is uh, equal to the fraction 3 over 100. That's 3 hundreds and it's equivalent to this decimal here 0 0.03 so if i said say this decimal most people would say oh that's the decimal 0 0.03 some people say oh that's the decimal three hundredths and it's better to express this or sorry this is the fraction of three hundredths it's better to express this as a fraction it just makes our calculations much much easier now of course you can work with decimals especially if you have a calculator that's fine but remember i said try to do this problem without the aid of a calculator so three hundredths is equal to the, the fraction three over 100 just a quick uh, review of this so you have 0 0.03 remember this is the tenths place 
This is the hundreds place, so we're going to write this over 100, and we're going to write this uh, number here, 3 over 100. Now, this isn't a full explanation or a lesson on place value. I'll give you a couple quick suggestions if you need to review uh, basic fractions and decimals, uh, basic math concepts in a second. But let's go and take the next step. And now that we understand that 3 hundredths is the same thing as 0 0.03 or 3 over 100, we can go ahead and uh, figure out the rest of this problem. So let's go and take the next step, which of course is having you quickly subscribe to my YouTube channel. I wouldn't stop this lovely video if I didn't need your support. Although I do have a lot of people I'm fortunate that follow me on YouTube and watch my content, I want to reach as many people as possible. And I think there's probably an infinite amount of people that need assistance in learning mathematics. It's just one of those topics that a lot of people struggle with. And people struggle in math, uh, I would say, basically for two reasons, okay? And if you're having a tough time in math, it's one or two things. One, sometimes people think, just think that I'm bad at math. I'm not good at math. They just kind of uh, have these conclusions. Or, you know, Maybe a teacher told them, hey, you're not good, or somebody told them, or they told themselves. That is not true. Okay, So if you think you're bad at math, that's not the case. Okay, The secret to learning math and being successful, and I'm talking about reasonably successful, you can pass your math courses and really have a good, well-rounded math education, is twofold. One, you can't uh, take any shortcuts, all right? You gotta be willing to do the work. So if you're not willing to work, I don't have any good answers for you. If I knew shortcuts, I would give them to you, but it takes a lot of effort and work to understand math. So if you're willing to do the work, and I'm talking about take notes, do all the practice problems, et cetera, et cetera, well then that's you know the first part of it. The second part of being successful in learning mathematics is great math instruction. And that's what I try to help people out clear and understandable and comprehensive where things are fully explained, not just quickly explained, but fully explained. Then once you have a great full explanation, you need to practice, 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 because math is a skill. Okay, so I'm trying to help out people that are on the verge of giving up. So please don't give up in math. Now, just real quick before we finish up this prom, if you need help in basic mathematics, check out my Math Foundations mini course. You'll find a link to it in the description below. I cover place value, fractions, decimals, all this kind of good stuff that we need uh, to solve this problem. Okay, so let's go and finish up the problem. All right, so now that we know that three hundredths is the same thing as a fra as the fraction uh, three over one hundred or the decimal 0 0.03, it's much easier to work with the fraction uh, version of three hundredths. Uh, if you're not going to be using a calculator because three hundredths of four inches uh, means take three hundredths and multiply it by four inches. So I can take 0 0.03 and multiply it by four, but you know, we don't have a calculator. Let's suppose we're not going to use one. It's better to, again to just uh, use the fraction. So here, three hundredths of four inches is equivalent to, or this means take three hundredths and multiply it by four inches or four over one inches. All right, so now we're talking about multiplying fractions, and how do we multiply fractions? Of course, we're going to multiply the respective numerators and denominators. So 3 times 4 is 12, and 100 times 1 is 100. And here is our answer, answer 12 or 100. But remember, when you're dealing with fractions, never, ever, ever leave your fractions unsimplified, always fully reduced. And you can see that 4 goes into 12 3 times, and 4 goes into 100 uh, 25 times. So 3 25ths of an inch is the correct answer. Okay, now again, if you're like saying, yeah, Mr. YouTube Math Man, uh, I learned all this stuff way back maybe in 19, for me, this was like 1975, 1976. Uh, then those were great days because recess was a lot of fun. When we used to go out there, I mean, we'd just get, uh, you know, it was like we'd all come back with bruises. And I remember riding these tricycles. I went to a, a school, um, elementary school, in Southern California, the weather was always great, but we'd always come uh, back from recess all banged up. It was so much fun. And of course, my first grade teacher used to smoke cigarettes right outside the classroom. I guess we were giving her a bit of a prom. But anyways, I don't want to be too nostalgic here. But again, a lot of us have been away from this material for many, many, many years. So if you forgot, it's no big deal. Okay, it's kind of like riding a bike. What you need is to kind of review your math skills. Now, if you want to review... Uh, you know, basic math, check out my Math Foundations course. Again, you can find a link to that in the description uh, below. That's a three-course little mini course that will help you out with basic math. Now, if you want to learn basic math 
and you want to learn algebra and geometry, some other things, if you're just kind of interested in relearning mathematics, check out my new course called Math Skills Rebuilder. In that course, I'm going to teach you all this basic stuff uh, to include everything that we're talking about here. And then I'm going to teach you a ton of algebra, a ton of uh, geometry, uh, even some basic trigonometry and some basic probability and statistics. And all my courses are self-paced, low st uh, low stress, but high quality ma uh, math courses. So uh, these are two resources that you can use if you want to improve in math. But hopefully this little video helps you out. And if that's the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.